Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Today, it's Sunday morning, I'm on Coronation Street, I'm about to walk onto Church Street and I'm on my way to work. And look at that, Greg's is open on a Sunday morning. That's great. You can see the glittery lights on. Look, they're still looking pretty at this time of the morning. The seagulls are waking up and they're very vocal. There, you can see the dome on top of the winter gardens. Let's zoom out of that. There's a load of people out there waiting for a bus or something. I'm just going to turn the camera off till I get past all those people, so I'll be back in a second. And there we go, I'm past that big line. It's actually a big line of people waiting to get into the Winter Gardens. It looks like there's a dance competition or something on. There's a bus there that I think has dropped everybody off. But we're really here to see the Christmas tree. Look, it's a great Christmas tree this year. Not a real one, but it's one that looks real. I still have memories of that year when they put that awful, awful excuse for a tree up that just looked like giant metallic Christmas balls. I don't know if you remember that one. It wasn't even a tree, it was more like somebody's impression of a tree. I shouldn't really say it's awful because it's somebody's art, so somebody put they're working to developing it and obviously there would have been people who did like it but personally I didn't like that one but that one is great it's going to look fantastic with the lights on look at that you can just see our customary peak at the top of the tower peeking out get a nice close of that so let's head on past St John's Square and on to Cedar Square. And we'll just leave the crowds of people behind. Here we have our little terrace of Cedar Square shops. There you can see number five cafe. I do like it in there. The food is really good in there. That is actually my second favourite place to eat in town. My first favourite place to eat is the Deansgate Kitchen. Oh my gosh, the food is magnificent in there. And we've got the lights still on in the trees there. If I just hold the camera up towards the trees, you can see there. Oh, there's a nest in that tree. Let's zoom in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a nest in there. Look at that, that building looks lovely. The old post of this building looks so nice. You can see the sunrise on it, it makes it look like a lovely colour. And we're going to head on down. Edward Street. You can see Abingdon Street Market still fenced off because it's still being old enough and modernised. I'm kind of excited how it's going to look because it stayed the same for decades so it's about time it had a makeover. There we can see Queen Vera's Road, the shortest street in Blackpool. Well, let's turn back and carry on down Edward Street. I'm walking past the old post of this building. I do really want to see something nice done with this. 
But what do you think this could be? Could be apartments, could be several shops. Personally, I think it would make a great post office. Yeah, they should definitely make the ground floor into a post office. And here we have the shops on the end. And some barbers. Shop there with a green frontage that looks partially finished. This Victoria Cottage, look. I've seen that before. It's probably one of those things that's always been there, but I've just never noticed. Here we have two new shop fronts that used to be part of Black Fabric Store. I can't really put the camera right up so you can see inside because the fencing's around them. But these are going to be two new shops. The top of it's going to be apartments. At least that's what I was told a long while back. You can see inside black, so you probably can't if I put the camera there. I don't think you can see inside. You kind of, sort of can. There's not a lot to see really. The tailors is closed, that's where I've got a new zip on my coat. They were there for a long, long time. And they put a zip on my coat. And that's the zip there. And they did a really good job and they did it really quickly as well. We're on Dean's Gate now. There you can see the Dean's Gate kitchen. The finest eatery in Blackpool. The best food at the best prices. At least that's my opinion. The Iceland there, not open yet. And I'm just going to get onto this corner and we'll finish outside Wilco's, or I should say the old Wilco's site which is going to house the new tram stop and the new hotel. Oh, this is all boarded up. It's a really quiet morning this morning, all you can really hear is seagulls and the very odd voice of a person so I'm going to finish this video now I'm going to say thank you so much for watching please hit the like button maybe even leave me a comment or come and say hi on Twitter I'm really trying to build up my Twitter at like a 29 so if you've got Twitter join me on Twitter if I get to a thousand followers on Twitter I might do a giveaway. Be a small giveaway because I ain't rich and I'm also kind of cheap. But I'll do something cool, I don't know. An Amazon voucher or a Steam voucher or whatever. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna go. So, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.